FBI agents wield considerable authority, surpassing even that of police officers. However, when FBI agents make mistakes and cops attempt to apprehend them, a unique situation unfolds. In this instance, a man was approached on the street by a team of police officers who believed he resembled a criminal they were searching for. Unbeknownst to the police, he was an undercover FBI agent about to engage in an unprecedented act. You get out of my face, man. You guys are harassing me. Yes, you guys are. Hey, that's you're not, fucking that's harassing that's me. That's me. That's that's yes, you are. No, no, no. He's harassing me. Why are you harassing me? You're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Okay, if you're not, then... No, 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 no. You're not free to go. Okay. Us. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? The police justified stopping him by claiming he resembled an individual they had a warrant for. It's crucial to note that the law mandates that officers must have reasonable suspicion of a crime before making an arrest, indicating a significant overreach of their authority. For what? I don't have a wrong. No, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. We're not going to play this game. No, 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 hold on. The officers provided a vague reason for detaining him and acknowledged the possibility of being wrong. This statement is not only unprofessional, but also perilous, suggesting a willingness to use such logic in more critical situations, potentially endangering the public. Hey, yo! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey officer! Oh, 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 no, no, no! Hey. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Matter of fact, matter of fact, look at my ID. He got the wrong guy, I'm telling you. The wrong guy, he motherfucker. You guys don't got the wrong guy. You guys are fucking stupid. That's not you. You guys are racial profile thinking I'm somebody. You guys really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me? To assume I'm somebody I'm not? My ID is in my back pocket. Y'all got the watch, wrong Hey, watch, funny how, watch how funny this is. Go ahead, look at it. No, don't hate me. Look at it. Oh, what does that say? What does that say? Suddenly, the man produced an official FBI ID card, proving that he was not the person they were seeking placing the officers in a precarious situation. Notice how one officer, after seeing the ID, shifts from making direct eye contact with the suspect to avoiding eye contact altogether. Oh! Wrong guy! Oh! Wrong guy! Wrong guy. Oh my god! Guys. No, get the fuck off me, dude! Okay. Get, get off me, dude! I need our cars. I need your supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Look, you guys, look, get him. Get him. The tough guy. And this guy here. Yo, what do you mean? I look like him. The entire incident was marked by unprofessionalism and poor handling on the part of the officers. Despite their fault, the police, upon learning the agent's true identity, showed some level of respect. However, the experience was drastically different for ATF agent Burke, who was mistreated by the police to such an extent that he had to file a lawsuit against them. Agent Burke was assigned to retrieve an illegally acquired firearm from a residence. However, upon reaching the house, instead of being granted entry, the residence shut the door in his face and called the police. Despite providing agent Burke's badge number, the police treated the situation as a break-in, casting Burke as a criminal. Hey, turn around, let me see your hands. Turn around, let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! I'm a federal agent. 917 10-3. I'm a federal agent. Get on the ground! Agent Burke resisted immediate orders to get on the ground, possibly to allow the police to check if he was armed and continued the investigation cautiously. He believed that being a federal agent exempted him from complying with municipal police orders. However, this raised concerns as any criminal could falsely claim federal status to evade police directives. Despite the potential threat perception, Burke should have politely followed orders for a smoother resolution. Unfortunately, the situation escalated. What the heck's the matter with you? Who do you think you are? Get on the ground! I'm not getting out of here. I'm not getting out of here. I'm not getting out of here. I got my ID. Do not reach for your waist. Keep your hands up. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. You're acting like a no, moron. Wait a second. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a second. Don't, don't do this. Wait a second. I got a medical condition. Get my license out of my pocket. Please. We're getting you secured first. Please, please, wait. No, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm hyperventilating. Please. Wait, please, sir. I'm not resisting. I'm not. Stop resisting. Would you now. please get my ID out of my left pocket? Stop. I'm begging you. My my wife's pray. Please. It's Stop right here. Resisting. Please get it. Wait, sir, help me up. Just hold me up. Sir, I can't do it. Wait. Sir! 
Stop resisting now! Please, please help me. Sir, please get, get my, 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 my federal creds! Get your taser out, Joe. No, don't do that, please. Sir. Don't make me tase you! You're gonna get taped. Put your right no. arm behind your back. Okay. Put your right arm behind help your back. Help me up. Down. No. Help me up. No, you're gonna stay on the ground and put your right arm behind your back. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. You can I'm breathe gonna. Just fine. I'm gonna. Ow! Ow! Don't do that! Okay! Here! My get God! Him, get him cuffed! It is cuffed! Please get stop! Cuffed. Get him cuffed! Please stop, sir! Wait a second! Yeah. Sir! Please help me up. In the distressing footage, Burke repeatedly informed the officers of his ATF agent status and requested them to retrieve his ID from his back pocket. Even after inspecting his ID, officers kept him under arrest and escorted him to their patrol vehicle. Please, sir! I if you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself! I was trying to give you my creds! We got him in the car. He might even be a real cop, but he wouldn't tell us, wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, wouldn't get on the ground. I mean, what the heck? We had to tase his room, so we got a medic coming. If he is an actual police officer, he ought to be ashamed of himself. I'm not You're not. You're right. You're not. Yeah. No, you screwed up. You bet. Burke remained detained in the patrol vehicle for over an hour before being released without charges. Despite Burke not exhibiting perfect conduct, he decided to file a lawsuit against the Columbus Police Department, alleging excessive force and unlawful arrest. Meet Special Agent Alexis Hatton, who, on December 20, 2022, was delving into corruption within a local sheriff's office in Carabel, Florida. During his scheduled interview with Deputy Ralph Gordon regarding a ticket issued a few weeks prior, the conversation took an unexpected turn when Gordon started suspecting that Hatton might not be a genuine federal agent. What unfolds next is truly remarkable. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. That'll work. You run your body cam? I, I am now, because I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special Agent Hatton. The FBI. Okay. You got that on body cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with you meet me at the office. I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office about it. Cut off the recording device now. Okay. Well, I will when I leave the area, sir. Hey, TJ. This guy is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's going to contact other people to get quick, involved with this. Let me get his tag number real quick. He says he does not give out business cards. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe this. No. Uh, there's something fishy with this right here. He's got a radio and he's got credentials. Uh, 33, go ahead. Yeah, he told me to turn my body camera off because he, he didn't want that running. And uh, so now he's. No, he's still here. He's looking at me. Franklin 33 at 428 Lincoln, Kilo, Sierra, Tango, 57. She was played on 2015. Absolutely not. Four door, still now he's dark saying, blue and color. Now he's saying I'm trying to detain him. I've never, I've never told Corporation you I was detaining you. That's on camera that you are staying here willingly, sir. 630 at 20, 51, 29 on that vehicle. Franklin, does that come back to any government agency? This is easy to come by. It just advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a wiring company? It's a covert vehicle, sir. Okay. Okay. Let's see how far we can get you. Do you need to call me? Yeah, I'm calling you. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm calling you.
you Dude, get mad. Would you like to see some registration? You get mad at me would because you, I turned my body like to, camera on. Would you like to see some registration? And you know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. Excellent. Do you have identification? I surely do. I showed it to him. Would I, you like to see it, sir? That's fine. You don't have to keep your hands up. I'm just trying I don't to figure want to get out what's shot going on. out here. I don't want to be shot either. I'm going to call my office. I'm outside the car because they wanted to know if I was armed. He wanted to take my weapon. Um, so, anyway, so. I never asked for your weapon, sir. You told me you had one on you. You said you wanted to take it off of me, didn't you, sir? I asked you for uh, permission God. once yeah. you said that you had one. Yes, I never asked you. Uh, okay. uh, okay. um, I got you. Right. right. So, anyway, Larry, so, um, so the deputy gets out of the car, goes to the yeah. car, gets in it. I guess he calls his supervisor. His supervisor says that this is not the place to interview him, that I have to arrange it to their office to talk to him at his office. And I tell him that's fine. I said, I'll contact the U.S. Attorney's Office, and the U.S. Attorney's Office will be in contact with him. So these guys are all hinked up. And uh, like I say, uh, I'm not sure what's going on behind the scenes, but I, he told, did you, tell, did you tell your sergeant that I was here about a ticket that you had issued? I told him that you were here to investigate me about an issue, and he said this needed to be handled through the office, not on the side of the road. And you said, yeah, and you well, said that, that that wasn't going to happen. You were going to contact somebody else. I said contact the U.S. Attorney's office. That's okay. correct. Yeah. And then we're just trying to check your validity. You you are you called a deputy sheriff's personal cell phone. You can't tell me how you got the number. That's right. Your tag's not coming back to the FBI. Correct. Okay. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I haven't seen a badge. You have not seen. No, sir. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I handed this to you. Did you grab it? Take it out of my hand. Do you not see a badge? I see a badge now. That's the first time I saw oh, the badge, Lord. sir. Well, you don't need to be a deputy. I saw this. He kept opening this. Yeah. That's called okay. my badge. My okay. That's very professional you to say that statement. But anyway. Uh, that I, I was very observant to be a deputy because you never showed me that. You showed me the inside of it, uh, but not the badge. Are you hearing all this, Larry? Oh, everybody's going to hear all this, sir. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with this gentleman we're currently out with. Okay, uh, your dispatch just sent me through here. Uh, I think I might have got the guy's name wrong. Is his name Alexis? Like yes. Yes. A L E X I M. Yes. H A T T E S. Yeah. It is 620, yes. 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 Being detained. Double lock. Mm-hmm. What's the charge, bro? You don't have any yet, You're but right now detained, we're running sir. you through multiple federal databases. Yeah. Okay, nobody's coming up with your name. You also come back on a terror watch list. So we're gonna secure you for our protection and yours. We're gonna put you in the back of a police car. Where, where's that weapon at, sir? It's, a, it's right on side. my right side, brother. You got any other weapons on you, sir? Uh, no, just my wallet. All right, I'm just going to patch it down sure, real quick. Sure, go ahead. if somebody pulls your name up, brother, you're good to go. Yeah, we're just trying to verify you. Well, since you don't want to give us no info for nobody to contact. That's just the wallet that I you were showing me a while ago. Yeah, that's my wallet. Don't touch that uh, thing right there. That's my uh, law enforcement. It's got all my notes on it for what I've done today. You're not allowed to see that. I'm not allowed to see what? Well, if you go to jail, I'm going to impound this to the, to the sheriff's office. I'm going to get a search warrant. I'm going to touch everything. Yeah, good. All right. All right. He's clear. Name again, My name's Sergeant Carroll. Okay. Hey, we well, unlocked. Y'all don't lose that badge. So, you My telephone's on there, okay, brother? Frank, on the five. All right. Just pull that hat out, dude. John. Are you able to take a call from FBI? Just take the whole rack down. Just stick it on top of it. And that jacket. 1014, he's going to transfer it to you, sir. 33 Franklin, we goes 
I said, where are you wanting to meet me at? And he goes, uh, he says, uh, I think it's the new substation. I said, the new, the new police department? He goes, yeah, I want to, you know, he wasn't real sure. I'm like, okay. So I went down there. Uh, he had just called me and like, hey, man, what's up? I said, I got to go meet this guy. He's investigating something. He's hollering. I can't see in there. Yes, sir. There, okay, okay. All right, I'm turning it on right now. Open the door. I can't breathe. Sir, I can't open the door. You're being detained right now. 26 Franklin, 1065, zero over. I got the air on full blast, sir. What is that gentleman's name you got today? It ain't the heat. Two, one, one. What's up? You haven't cooperated with anything we've done. What's the gentleman's name you got today? It's going to be Alexis Hatton. Alexis Hatton. Do you have your body camera on still, brother? Absolutely. It ain't going off. Thank you, brother. I beg you for your current air. I have your burning me up, brother. I had the defroster on. No, you didn't. Brother, I need air. God almighty. I know you think this is funny, but it won't be funny after the day. 33, go ahead. Turn it on when he told me that. Right away. You down on official business, so y'all can let him go. Let him go right away. 10 4. All right, sir. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Call 911. Call 911. We're releasing you right now, sir. Call 911 now. Call 911. I need 33. There he's right. They're begging you to cut off your freaking we're, we're heat. We're releasing him now. He's requested EMS to respond at this time. Call 911. 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 I'd ask for help. I've been in the car. They had me spoken in the back. 10 4, can you advise if it's next door to the new dollar store? That's 10 4. Can you verify that my AC's on real quick, John? It's on now. It, it was on when. I, how could I not touch How could I not touch it? Yeah, it's on. Yeah. 911, I asked for the sheriff's to call 911. They won't, they won't call it. It was made to uh, detain him while we were checking his legitimacy yeah and uh we put him in the back and uh after that he started complaining of uh shortness of breath vision loss uh and whatever else he's got going on that's and that's that's so and he claims i had the heat on in the car uh, but i don't where uh, are you going to go uh, Make sure I got his. I don't know what to talk about. Get him whatever's fine. My gun and stuff. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification for more exciting top fives to come. Only here in Top 5 Trending. See you next time. Adios.